I want to hear about what's the most struggle that you have right now. Trust and communication. I don't talk. Since okay. I just shut up, it goes more into bicker, 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 bicker. Like, you can't Tell be me. on your honeymoon every day. Not every so day is fabulously gay. <laughs> exactly. So. <laughs> Tell me this. You get in a fight about what? I'm going yeah. to New York next month. I didn't offer for him to come until I figured out all the living situations. I saw that he was that, being That happened, weird. though, the day after we sat down. I sat down and said, look, I feel like you're leaving me out for a lot of stuff. And the next day, I was, like, sitting back watching him figure out his New York trip. Oh, I could stay here. Oh, like, I'm going to go do this all day. I'm going to do this. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then it was about... You I said, well, what sound, like, a lot worse than it was, I think. Why were you doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Are you living together? No. no. Yeah, We were practically living together. He was... We were together almost 24-7. Okay. I kind of set a rule saying... We need days apart. He was at my place every day, pretty How much. How was that for you? I mean, I didn't like it. Okay, it okay. I think now I know why you were punishing I love him that. with New York. <laughs> but No, if stop. I'm Listen, sentin- I think you punished him with <laughs> the pretty hotel. You're like, okay, <laughs> mister, I want time apart. Guess what? I'm going to go to New York. Because when we're her, we really become around 12. Mm-hmm. What made you want that boundary? What was unhealthy about the 24-7? I'm just curious. Well, if you rewind to when we first met. Yes, tell me how you met. The first time we actually saw each other was at an open house, because he's, he's in real estate, and I was looking f- to get a place. I wanted to keep it very friendly to really just talk and see what happens, because I know especially in the gay world, people will just and then you never see God, them yeah. again. I don't, I, it's like, I don't, that's not what I want to do. Like, cause I really wanted a relationship really badly. And then he, that night he got kicked out at the place he was living in. Why'd you get kicked out? <laughs> I was actually dating someone at that time, which he did not know about. Um, and were you, was he the other man? I was, yes. Er, yeah. Fair. I was the okay. mistress. Um, and I was in a very unhealthy, like two and a half year relationship with a crazy POS. Bitch. You know, I say to you, because I know sometimes at 22 and 24, people think probably, oh, you're so young. I hate when someone's me. Me too. Pisses me off. I'm with you. You know, I feel like there are some walls that you each have. And so what I'd like you to do is you're going to be going to like a brickyard. One pile of bricks is going to represent the walls, you're going to write what those are. Like one word on One each word, word, like one of the things you need to break are secrets. Selfishness. And then you're going to each have a sledgehammer. And you're going to help each other smash them. I want to see the walls that you're going to break. I want to see it all smashed away. 